In the last video, I showed you how to tighten the timing of a drum project using the multi-track audio quantization. And now let me show you how to replace one of those audio tracks with a MIDI or VST instrument track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bass drum and I'm going to select all the events and then I'm going to perform a bounce function. That's going to replace that file with one contiguous new audio track. Now when I double click on that segment I'm going to go to the hit points pull down menu let me get a little bit more room here and at the bottom of the hit points list you'll see that there's a new function called create MIDI notes. I'm going to reanalyze the threshold of these notes so that I just get bass drum notes. Those all look like bass drum notes to me. Now that I have it analyzed for threshold, I'm going to click on the Create MIDI Notes button, and I'm going to get the Convert Hit Points to MIDI Notes dialog box. I'm going to use Dynamic Velocity, and the pitch I want to use is actually going to be the bass drum with B0, and the length of the resulting MIDI notes is going to be an eighth note, and then I'm going to create a new MIDI track when I hit OK. When I do that, you'll see that in my project window, I now have a MIDI track with all of those bass drum notes on it. Now it's just a matter of choosing which instrument I want to assign to those notes. So I'm going to type F11, and I'm going to get to my VST Instruments rack, and I'm going to load the Groove Agent 1 instrument. I'm not going to create a MIDI track, so I'm going to hit cancel because I already have one that I want to use, and then I'm going to load the sounds that I want to use into Groove Agent 1. So I'm going to go with this Banger CD kit, and as soon as that loads, I can close that panel, and I can go to that new MIDI track, which I'm going to call Groove Agent Kick, and I'm going to assign that track to go out to the Groove Agent 1 plugin. I'm going to solo that, and now we're going to hear the bass drum, except as I remember, this is going to be really loud. So I'm going to go to the channel fader and turn that down a little bit, except I can't quite see it. So if I scroll over here, I'll actually see the output. Let's press play now and see what happens. There's the bass drum, and it's the MIDI bass drum of Groove Agent 1. So now, if I unsolo, I'm going to mute the bass drum in audio, which I have now replaced with a MIDI bass drum. So using that feature, you can go through and assign different instruments in your vast array of VST plugins and VST instruments and replace acoustic drums with electric drums or sampled drums from your sample drum library.